In this video, I got an unboxing to do with you guys, and then I'm gonna talk about why low grade is better than no grade. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. And in this video, I got a comic book unboxing to do with you guys, and then I'm gonna talk about this idea of low grade being better than no grade. Now, I know in the comic book community, low grade better than no grade, it's kind of an adage that is thrown out uh, just to sort of say it's great to kind of get your hands on a book, but I kind of feel like there's another value factor in low grade better than no grade, and that is the idea of trading up to the book you eventually want, and having a book in your current collection be sort of a placeholder, so to speak. But before I get into the unboxing and the video for today, if you guys could drop me a like or a comment or subscribe if you're enjoying the content, help support the channel, doing those things, I would appreciate it. And let us also take a moment to talk about the sponsor of this video, MySlabs.com. MySlabs.com is an online marketplace that specializes in graded collectibles. And one of the best things about this company is that you can see right there, 1% fees for sellers. So sellers get to make better deals with buyers and everybody gets to keep more money in their pockets. I'm gonna play this commercial for you guys and then I will see you on the other end. Tired of paying 10%, 15% or more to sell your cards, comics, and digital collectibles? How does 1% sound? Too good to be true? Well, not anymore. MySlabs.com is the web's premier user-driven marketplace for buying and selling slabbed cards, sealed wax, and now slab comics and digital collectibles. So the next time you're forced to pay 10% or more to sell something from your collection, head over to MySlabs.com and join the 1% revolution. Definitely go check out MySlabs.com. They got a lot of great books on there. And hey, if you can't afford the high grades, they also got the low grades covered. And as you know from this video, I am a big fan of the low grades. So let's get back into our topic now. Uh, but let us open up this box right here because this is actually going to be a slight upgrade of a couple books in my collection. And that's kind of what, uh, you know, sort of got me thinking about, you know, talking about this idea of low grade better than no grade, uh, you know, because I like to sort of take my unboxings and sort of frame them in a way that's gonna have an interesting conversation if I can figure out how to actually cut this box open. Uh, there we go. Uh, so this is a, these are a couple books that I actually picked up on Black Friday. Um, I, of course, went out hunting. You guys saw my video uh, on my Black Friday hunt, uh, but there were some books that I picked up online as well uh, on Reese's Rare Comics website. So shout out to Reese's Rare Comics. Uh, but he had a Black Friday sale going on, and I decided... I'll clean that up later. Uh, he had a, a situation going on where he had a Black Friday deal. And there are a few books on there that, you know, I actually already had a couple of them in my collection, but I felt like, hey, like, let me actually pick these up because the books that he was selling were not only better deals than what I have been able to find for myself online, uh, but they are also books that are better grades than the ones that I have in my collection. And so I was actually able to sort of upgrade uh, the a book that I already own uh, by getting a steal of a deal from recent right here so let us get into this very very nice shipping so thank you very much for that really appreciate that uh, all right so let me see if I can flip through and we will get into this and we'll kind of talk about it in order uh, we'll save this one for last okay here we go so the first book uh, that I picked up these are not ones that are I'm upgrading my collection uh, but this is a Marvel premiere number five this is the first mention of Shuma Gorath uh, a book that has definitely gotten really hot recently because of the rumors with Doctor Strange so I definitely wanted to pick up this book just because I saw it being sold at a good deal uh, I thought it'd be cool to have for the collection so that is a great book to have, but not one that I'm going to talk about yet. This other book is one that I did not have in my collection, but I've wanted this book for a long time. You know it was only a matter of time but I, before I would get my hands on this, but this is Tales of Suspense number 56, First Appearance of the Unicorn. You know me, guys. Of course I love the unicorn. Of course Swaggle Haas thinks the unicorn is cool. Uh, you know, I, I really do appreciate all those Silver Age books that have unicorn appearances on them. I think that he is like a really stupid character, uh, but kind of fun, especially when, you know, we're talking about a nice Silver Age book like this. Uh, this is not one that I ever had in my collection. Uh, it's one that every time I come across it, I always see it, see it being charged at more than I want to spend for it. Uh, and so I'm really happy to pick this one up. And I do think it's really interesting that uh, in the current Chris Cantwell Iron Man run, uh, he brought back a lot of these characters from, you know, Iron Man's past like the unicorn, uh, like the controller. And that kind of got me really interested in a lot of these characters. I know, you know, these are really wild specs, but you know, we got Armor Wars coming up. I don't know, it's very, very possible we see some of these characters 
soon in the future. All right, so those were the first two books. I picked up two more that I'm gonna show right here. And this is where kind of I want to, you know, sort of transition into the next part of the conversation of low grade being better than no grade. So uh, this first book that I got right here is an Avengers book I already had in my collection. This is Avengers number 46, first appearance of Whirlwind. Whirlwind is a B tier villain that I love, has always gone up against, you know, the Avengers. Uh, and this is his first appearance. I mean, well, technically his first character appearance is in a Tales to Astonish book where he was the human top. Then he would become Whirlwind right here, which is his iconic form. I think this is a really affordable uh, key book in my opinion, uh, but this is a higher grade than the one I already had. And I wanted to upgrade this one because, um, it, because it's so affordable, I feel like it's worth getting a nice clean copy of it. So I upgraded my book right here. Uh, and then this next one I got is Tales of Suspense, number 47, first appearance of The Melter, a book I already have in my collection, but this was a slightly higher grade. I mean, it's not like a significantly higher grade, but the price that I was able to get this one for is one that I think is actually cheaper than what I think I could sell my current copy that I already have. So let me pull this up right here. So this is the copy that I already had in my collection, Tales of Suspense 47, First Appearance of the Melter. So now I have two right here. Uh, this new one that I picked up, it does have, you know, a, a color break up here. It's got some chipping and stuff. Uh, but overall, this presents much nicer because you can look at the suspense right here. Uh, whereas my current copy, see how it has a little bit of this fading? Uh, that was like kind of a stain that always bothered me. There's also tape right here on the on the, uh, the staples. So you can see if someone put that little pieces of tape. So this new version I have right here, I do not have the tape. So this is what I am considering sort of an upgrade in my collection. And you know, this book is one that I definitely wanted. You guys know me, I love my villains. Uh, I wanted to get all the first appearances of the Masters of Evil, the original team. Uh, so when I found this book out hunting in the wild, uh, it was one that, you know, a little bit kind of a beater copy. I mean, it still holds together well, but it has those issues of the fading up here and the tape on the on the staples and so this is one that i always kind of felt like hey you know it's a low grade version i'm really happy i have it but you know i would love to upgrade it at some point in the future and this was finally the time that i was able to do that and find this book right here so transitioning to this idea of low grade better than no grade i think you know like i mentioned at the beginning of the video the adage is something that's kind of thrown around it's just being like you know hey just be happy that you have a book uh, but i would kind of want to bump that a little bit further and think of it in terms of like you know hey sometimes getting that low grade even if it's not a perfect copy uh, can serve as a placeholder in your collection because you know as i think back to all the times I've gone hunting with comic books. I mean, you see books pop up from time to time, uh, but they're, you know, the, especially those rare keys, it, they are few and far between. I mean, maybe you're going to see a certain book, maybe two times a year, if, if that. So sometimes it's a really good idea to just get your hands on the book. You know, you want to be in the club. And then later on in the future, there's nothing to stop you or prevent you from ever, you know, buying another version of that book and upgrading it to something else in your collection. In fact, I'll tell you a little story about my Avengers number one. If you guys have seen my book before, you'll know that, you know, on the Avengers label, there's a little bit of an ink stain. Uh, and that was something that, you know, when I was thinking about purchasing that book, I thought to myself, yeah, maybe I don't want to get it because it has this ink stain on it. But, you know, ultimately I thought to myself, hey, low grade better than no grade, not just because I want to own the book, but actually, you know, there's nothing to stop me in the future from trading up, so to speak, to a higher grade version of the Avengers 1 book, if that's something that I eventually want to do. I mean, at this current time, I'm totally happy with my book, but if there's ever an opportunity for me to trade uh, to a higher grade, uh, you know, then I can ap actually do that. And because I was able to get my hands on this quote, quote unquote low grade version, uh, you know, I've been able to enjoy it for all this time. I've been able to, you know, be in the club. I've been able to appreciate the book. And in case it ever, you know, gets to a point where it isn't affordable for me anymore, I, at least I have my hands on that book. So uh, a, a book like this, again, like Tales of Suspense 47, a book that when I saw this one out in the wild, I didn't, you know, love the fact that it had tape. I didn't love the fact that I had the little stain right there, but I decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to get this book regardless. It's going to be a placeholder in my book or in my collection. And, you know, maybe one day there's going to be a point where the Melter shows up in the MCU and I'm not going to be able to afford another copy. Uh, but if that didn't happen, there would be another day where I would come across another version of that book and be able to trade up, so to speak, into to this nicer presenting copy. And then I can sell this copy or move on with it. And that can offset the cost that it took me 
to you know get this one right here. So that's something I think is really interesting and just kind of a, a little topic that I felt like it would be worth kind of talking about in a video with you here today. Uh, you know, sometimes low grade better than no grade, not only just because you get to have a book, but also it's just serves as a placeholder for you to trade up to something you want eventually in the future. Anyways, that is all I have for this video. Drop me a like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying the content and I'll see you in the next one.